something about chanting in general, which is very important. When we think of chanting, we usually think of songs which praise, which honor, which glorify. But we need to think about chanting as something which not only expresses ideas of the sacred. We need to think of chanting as talk. Matter of fact, there is nothing which is unspoken about in chanting. We talk about the mundane. We talk about the trivialities in life. And, and like I said before, we talk about malice. And that brings me to my next topic. There are times when you're in a ceremony where you run out of praise songs, or you run into an oricha that is temperamental and doesn't want to acknowledge you. And what do you do? Well, what do you do is you resort to songs which are meant to taunt the oricha. And by taunting the oricha, causes them to break loose and want to come down and strut their stuff. The idea is that you resort to drastic measures in order to get drastic results. These songs are called buya songs. Buya means to stick, to gourd. And that's what we're doing with the oricha. I had a series of songs that I wanted to do, but I don't believe there's enough time. But the thing that I want you to remember about Puya songs is that you sing these songs with an attitude. The Oricha cannot pick up that you being gun shot when you're singing a Puya song, and they'll pick it up like that. And if you allow that to happen, you miss your train. Just one. Yeah. <coughs> oh, just one? Okay, I'm gonna sing. I'm gonna. I'm gonna sing. Um, let me explain the song because this way you get us in, in the event that if you want to join me, you you at least feel comfortable about what you're saying. All right. <laughs> <coughs> All right. This is a song which talks about ewe, which are plants used in ritual ceremonies. In particular, in this given uh, situation, a plant which is used for the initiation of oricha. Ewe, ikoko. Ikoko actually identifies the plant. Ewe, ikoko. And what this song is actually saying is telling the oricha, you know what? You're not a, an oricha at all. And the reason, matter of fact, you're an imposter. And the reason why you're an imposter is because Ewe Ikoko was taken out and was never in your ceremony. So you're actually calling the Oricha an, an imposter. So the singer will sing a series of songs. Oh, then let me give you the chorus. Mole ya, o ya. Mole ya, o ya, o cha we we hi go go. Mole ya, o ya. Okay, hold that thought. <laughs> Now you got the deity, it's come down and it's furious. Now you got an angry deity in your hand, and you're the target of that anger. What do you do? Well, you use a retraction song. <laughs> you use a retraction song. And just as, just as you sing a Buya song with an attitude, now it's time to get humble. <laughs> Now it's time to get humble. And the way you, you do this, you use 
You use, for instance, one of the major things that we do is we cross our arms. That's a sign of endearment. And you use that a lot in, in retraction songs. And you use the word kofiedemi, which means forgiveness. And in this given retraction song, we're going to use, we're, all, we're going to summon Ochun again to use her abebe. Is abebe is the fan. We're looking to have Ochun come back and appease the situation and create a transformation, one of goodness. <laughs> Peroni ha bebe ochu hi ayubu peroni ha bebe ochu hi ayubu peroni ha bebe ochu hi ayubu peroni ha bebe ochu